And basically what I loved about this book is that it's funny and it's funny throughout. And there are so many great moments, really from the start when um, you meet Charlie and you see him just staring at his duck, just wanting the duck to do something, anything. Come on duck, I need you because I'm doing a duck blog. You barcode need to provide me with my material. And you meet this odd kid who's got his odd duck, hoping his duck will do an odd thing. And you know straight away that you're in the hands of someone who understands what's funny. And and I think really the best comic authors um, give you these sort of bigger themes that maybe I, I just mentioned, and they do it by having uh, uh, being in tune with the small things that happen in life. And and uh, this is a situation where you know the, the the part of life that Andrew's looking at is schoolyard life and home life for a you know for a young teenager or a I'm not sure if he's... Uh, how old is he, Andrew? Uh, Charlie, would he be early teens? Uh, he would be 9 through 12. He'd be 9 through 12. <laughs> there you go. That's why I haven't, I haven't been made to step up to that age bracket yet. But Granny saw us Rex 4 to 5. Um, so not necessarily... Uh, but basically, the, the, the way that you, uh, you, you, you get the small details in, he's got a preschooler who wears a really washed tuxedo. He's got a hard-boiled monster mum uh, with a mobile phone for each day of the week. And I asked, uh, I asked Andrew. I mean, God, if, if ever anyone has gone mothers as in, in, in their maternal entirety, uh, certainly this character is not a. She isn't going to be held up as one of the greats. And um, and and Andrew said to me, "Well, she was harder in the first draft. I softened her down. I went, oh, 